Hey, wonderful humans, let's go ahead and go through this test question so you know how to solve the retake. The question is, what is the value of the expression 26.95 divided by 5 and 1 half? Um, okay, I'm going to, since my answers are in decimals, I will change the 5 and 1 half to a decimal. And I know that one half is 0.5. If you have half of a dollar, it is 50 cents. Now that I'm dividing decimals, I know that the second number is always outside. The first number is always inside. My divisor needs to be a whole number, so I'm going to move that guy over one time and bring him up into the quotient so I don't forget about him. All right, 55 can go into 2 zero times. 55 can go into 26 zero times. 55 can go into 269, I don't know how many times. So I'm going to do a guess and check here. 55 is close to 50, and I'm going to figure out how many times 50 can go into two and a half dollars, and I know that that's five. So I'm going to try 55 times five first and see if that is above or below 269. Um, Five times five is five, carry the two is 27. Oh, that's too big. Okay, now I'm gonna do 55 times four. Five times four is 20, five times four, that's 20. Okay, cool. Already, I know what my answer is because there's only one answer choice where four is to the left of um, the decimal and that's answer choice B. But I'm gonna keep going anyway because you guys know this is math class and we need to be confident in our answers. So I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. Nine minus zero is nine, six minus two is four, and that's zero. Cool, yeah, 49 is less than 55. I know I did my math right. Now I'm bringing down this last five. 495. Uh, well, looking at my answer choices, it's either three or nine. So I'm gonna do nine. Five times nine is 45. Five times nine is 45 plus four is 49. Okay, oh. My answer is 4.9. Now, yes, here there's a typo. One, the five and a half is supposed to be negative, and I know that a positive divided by a negative is negative. Therefore, my answer is negative 4.9. But test-taking strategy-wise, I honestly could have stopped after I knew that the first digit was four and I knew where my decimal placement was. If you're confident in both of those things, you're good to go.